right, we're going to use a small packet of cards here. In fact, the, uh, the packet of cards consists of two four of a kinds, actually spot cards. The first packet is a small spot card, happens to be threes. That's three number one, number two, number three, number four. Uh, the other packet also consists of some spot cards a little higher than threes. Uh, in this case, we have uh, sevens. That's uh, number one, two, three, four sevens. We're going to do a quick arithmetic question here. Actually, we're going to do addition. If we were to take 7 and 3 and add them together, what would that equal? Well, correct answer is 10. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. The answer is correct, but the outcome is a little illogical. Uh, let's try the opposite. Uh, we'll do subtraction. Take away two of the cards from the packet. In fact, uh, we'll get rid of them over here for now. Uh, two of the cards away from the packet of 10, and how much would that equal? Um, correct answer is 8. Let's double check. That's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Uh, and in just in case you're wondering, the cards we put away a moment ago happen to be the 9 and the 10. Okay, for this next trick, we're going to need a card selected. So go ahead if you want to mind, touch a card for me. Perfect. We're going to show that up here so you can see it. Good. We're going to take some of the cards, leave them face down. Some of the cards we'll take and leave face up. Your selection will lose into the uh, face down packet, just like so. And we'll shuffle the cards so that faces go into backs, backs into faces, creating a little bit of a mess. Faces to backs, backs to faces. Some cards are face to face, some cards are back to back. Would you rather see your card uh, face up or would you rather see it face down? That's up to you. Face up, watch. We snap the fingers. Causes every card in the pack to turn one direction, except for one here in the center of the deck. The four of clubs. All right, we're going to need some cards shuffled. So uh, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and shuffle those cards up for me. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and switch packets so you can get the rest. Thank you. Perfect. Card has been shuffled. Um, we're going to attempt to spell to some high cards. Uh, the highest card in the pack happens to be the aces. So let's, let's try to find some aces. A, C, E, O, F, C, L, U, B, S. And on the S of ace of clubs, you happen to find the ace of clubs. Maybe I got lucky. I don't know. There could be some more aces here. In the, no, I guess not. Um, we'll, we'll try it again. The, uh, another high card would be, say, the Ace of Hearts. That's A-C-E-O-F-H-E-A-R-T, and on the S, Ace of Hearts. Um, sometimes people ask me, well, I, I can see you can deal them face down. Can you deal them from a, a face-up packet? Let's try it out. Uh, we'll try the Ace of Spades. A-C-E-O-F-S-P-A-D-E. S. And on the S, you find the Ace of Spades. The last one's the uh, most difficult because there is only one Ace left in the pack. Um, so I tell you what, you can go ahead and deal it out for me. I'll hand you the pack. Go ahead and spell out and deal for the Ace of Diamonds. A C E O F D I A M O N D. And on the S, you find the Ace of Diamonds. Thank you. All right, we're going to need uh, two cards selected. As I uh, riffle down the side of the pack, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and call stop for me. Stop. Perfect. If you wouldn't mind, take a look at the two cards. Great. Let's go ahead and hand me back uh, the first selection. Lose that somewhere in the center. And uh, we'll also take the second card as well. Now, before I began the effect, I placed an indicator card in the center. As you can see, it's different from the rest. Indicator card is able to locate one of the selections for me, in this case the King of Hearts. Not only locate the card, but it's also able to tell me what the card is. Again, the King of Hearts. Now we did have two cards selected, and what I forgot to mention is that this is a magic indicator card. It's able to locate any card it wants, as well as become any card as well.
right, we're going to need a couple cards selected. So if you want to mine, please touch one. And go ahead and get a second. And a third. Great. Three cards touched from three different spots in the pack. Let's go ahead and take a look. The first card you touched happens to be the Queen of Spades. The second is the Seven of Diamonds. And the third is the Four of Spades. So Four, Seven, and Queen, that's all you have to remember. Those three cards go down on the table. Now there's four cards I've placed over here that you haven't seen yet. Uh, these cards happen to be the Kings. We have the uh, King of Hearts, the King of Spades, the King of Diamonds, and the King of Clubs. One at a time, we'll lose the selected cards back into the pack, one near the bottom, one in the middle, and one up near the top. By simply placing the kings on top of the packet, waiting a few seconds and snapping, three cards jump between the four kings. Let's take a look and see what they found. The three selected cards, the queen, the four, and the seven. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Again, we'll lose the cards back into the pack. Again, one near the top, one in the middle, and one near the bottom. In fact, we'll go ahead and square these up, making it more difficult. It's now the king's job to find the selections one more time and have them trapped between them again. The difficult part, though, is making the kings vanish. We're going to go ahead and need a, a couple cards from the pack, 16 to be exact. We'll go ahead and count them off here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. I'm going to perform a classic in Magic known as the Four Ace Assembly, although it's a little different because in my case I use kings. I use kings and in different cards. Of the kings, the most important happens to be the King of Hearts. The King of Hearts will go ahead and put down in the leader spot. The other kings go out on the table forming the classic T formation. Now on top of each one of the kings will go three of these in different cards. Starting with the King of Hearts, followed by the other kings, the clubs, the diamonds, and the spades. Just to further clarify, we'll go ahead and uh, leave the kings so that they're facing down on top of each one of the in different card packets. And now it's up to the final king, the king of hearts, the leader, to have these gather with it. Watch. You simply wave, and it's done. As the other kings join the king of hearts. Now people often ask me, Sid, what happens to the cards left on top of each of the packets? And I, I had mentioned before, this is a classic of magic known as the four ace assembly, and that's all we've been using all along. selected. As I riffle down the side, if you wouldn't mind, just go ahead and call stop for me. Perfect. Go ahead and take a look. Great. We'll leave the cards somewhere down in the middle of the pack. Now normally I call upon the assistance of the two black jacks to help me find the selected card. But in your case, I already know what the card is, so what I need to do is have it come to the top of the deck first. With it on top of the deck, I should be able to use it to help me find the two black jacks. And now we should be ready to begin. Using the jacks, if you just give it a twist above the pack and shake, one card jumps between them. In this case, it happens to be the Ten of Hearts, the selected card. We can have this go in reverse. Not yet, not until you give it the spin, just like so. Snap the fingers, it causes your card to completely vanish from between the two black jacks. If it leaves the two black jacks, it actually jumps back to the center. This time reversed. Let's take a look at the Ten of Hearts. 